Hey. Are you done with your fantasy cricket team? Yes. The Dothraki dragons are all set to breathe fire into their opponent's eyes. How about you? Yeah, I'm still working on it. Well, what's your team name? Right. So I wanted the team name to reflect my identity while sounding totally cool. So fasten your seatbelts as I present to you the Hicks Bisons. Mysterious and vicious. Oh, it's a totally awesome name. Anyways, I'm still undecided about the all-rounder slot. Ah, oh, yes. The coveted all-rounder slot. That's a tough one. You know, you can't just pick anyone who can bat and bowl. An all-rounder is like the Swiss Army knife of the league. Multipurpose, handy and ever so useful in critical conditions. I had to come up with a special selectivity index based on performance, durability, adaptability and general awesomeness to compare all-rounders. <laughs> okay, that took some time. Hmm. So, I am inclined towards Ravindra Jadeja. Dude, he has a batting average of 16.83 and a bowling average of 109 in Australia. Plus, he hasn't even played in South Africa or New Zealand. But yeah, sure, he did well in England, but that's not a pattern. How about Jack Callis? Too old. Yeah. Shane Watson. Shane Watson. Too inconsistent. Uh, Muhammad Hafiz? Too inefficient. How about Stuart Rod? Dwayne Bravo? Be serious. Kisi ko bhi le lete hai, yaar. I don't want to think about it too much. Fine. If you want to play fantasy cricket just for the sake of playing fantasy cricket, then go ahead. Pick any random cricketer. Then you can't blame anyone else for any disaster that's going to befall upon you. 